Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Casual Flacker here. Back for episode number 11, maybe, of our Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Team Rocket at the Mahogany Town um, hideout thing. Got several new encounters. Um, and today we are going to go down to uh, Cyanwood City to take on Chuck. And then we are going to do the, uh, or we're going to do the Olivine City Lighthouse first. But yeah, so that's the plan. Okay. So have I not battled any of these people? I guess not. Alright, well we could use a few levels anyway. I did look up the levels for uh, the next few gym leaders. So uh, Chuck, Price, and Claire. Um, and Chuck's two Pokemon are 29 and 30. Jasmine's are 30, 30, and 35. And Price, I think, is like 27, 32, and 34. I think, hold on, let me look. I found all this using the uh, trusty, my handy dandy guidebook that I've had since Heart Gold came out originally on the DS. So this is from when I was a little kid. 30, 34, and 32. Those are prices months. So we need on average about 10 levels for stuff. Um, but we're in pretty we're in pretty good shape to get to that point. I'm not too worried about it. And so Megazilla is level 25. And he does have a uh, rock head, so we will get rid of tackle. Because takedown is not going to do any recoil. But yeah, it just happened to be in my the closet of my old bedroom, and I saw. I saw that guide sitting there and I was like, oh, that might come in handy. It has its level up movesets for everything that's in the actual uh, Johto Pokedex. So, like, Rapidash is in there, um, Snorlax is in there, Croconaw is in there, but no one else on the team is because they would be part of the national decks. Come battle these guys later. Actually, while well, that's happening, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go do a little research. Yes, Carcanal evolves into Feraligatr at level 35. Cool beans. All right, so we're in pretty good. We're in pretty good shape with that. This is running not great again. I may actually save and close out of the emulator and open it back up. So I think that should fix the problem. I think I will. I think I'll get out of this battle and do that. And hike. Uh, tum Tom. Tum Tom needs to learn body slam. That was a lot of experience. I didn't realize Mantite gave that much experience, but here we are. Oh, that reminds me. Um, 
I apologize for the for the last episode not having any audio. I don't really know why that was, but I didn't realize and realize it until it was uploaded. So yeah, um, I don't know what the deal was. Okay, so we are saved. So you're gonna see a little bit of live action here. Um, oh, I would have to go into my shoot documents. Downloads. This is not there. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where this. Okay, it's here. And open that. And this should run better. Oh yeah, much better. It's does it's really weird because if you leave this you leave this open for too long without like closing out of it, it makes the emulator run slow and I didn't close out of it. So that's the reason for that. Smoochum. Bite. Okay, so we've already gone down through all of Ein City, so all the events right there aren't going to happen. But we will go ahead and go up here. This is not what I wanted. So we'll go ahead and grab this iron. That, that reminds me, it's kind of weird that steel is a type. Why is it not metal type? Because steel is very, is very specific. Metal is not. Oh, okay, we got some people with good mons. Erwin? Struggling here. You know, someone had the audacity to claim that Mechazilla does not need to be in the party. Honestly, shame on you. Okay. A shelter. Okay, so Shelter has really, really bad special defense. That's why I went for a Surf. I figured it would still be more likely to kill than one bite. Oh, he called me a wimp, really? Just beat his ass and he called me a wimp. Wingle. That's a mon that he would probably actually have if there were third gen mons in this game. What is it wanting to learn? Flail. No. Combi. Oh no, another male Combi. So unfortunate. Another Wingle. He's actually had all flying types. Okay, Togepi's not, but it does evolve into a flying type. And Smeargle. Smeargle's not, but could have four flying type moves if you really wanted it to. So these would be good battles for us. Give us some levels. There's 25 for him. Tum -tum. I think we'll probably put Erwin up at the front to get to level 30 first. Um, just because we want the, uh, we would like to see him evolve. A pearl. Okay, that wasn't worth coming down here for.
gold pin. Extra sensory. And also, so as another note, the same person who had the audacity to say that we need to take uh, Agron off of the team said that we need to put rest on Snorlax. That's not smart. The reason that you don't run rest on a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke sense is because you need to maximize the turns that you can attack. If you use rest, that is one turn that you use for healing. And then you're asleep for at least one turn. One turn that could turn into like five. What does this person have as their last mom that they have a Ludicolo? That's odd. It's dead, but it's odd. So instead, why would you not just use potions that take one turn to heal and then get back to attacking right away? You see what I mean? It's not logical. It's a logical sense in this lock. To nose locking. Should Ruby. We can go a little bit to butt stallion. And that will kill. And plus, you don't have to worry about your Pokemon staying asleep if you use rest potion. This tower has terrible items. We have not had good item luck so far. <sighs> this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. That was the most passive aggressive way to tell me go get that. She just says, Oh, I can't leave him unattended, and it's across the sea. Here, let me open the door for you. Like, I got things to do. So we go over there, we get three encounters along the way. Four encounters, actually. About 41, 42, uh, the World Islands, and then um, the Cyanwood City encounter. Plus, there's the static one in Cyanwood City. We might can actually get more than that because the uh, people don't know. We're not going to worry about now. Be calm. Our second choice would be our starter. And then we need to get one of the uh, Like, 
this one. You know, now you get shoes, you prefer the large punches. And then you get shoes, you prefer the large punches. But anyway, 15 minutes in, we're checking out the here. So let's get to it. Oomph. The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Watch yourself with the waterfall from reporting on me. You just spoiled my train. I have to win that I am a strong trainer to training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to come on. That's Play it all. Okay, so he's got two arms. Hopefully this thing doesn't... Oh, he's got a rock. Uh, I think I can... Damn it. Well, I uh, talked about it, talked about taking him off the team, and I guess we are now. Tang's big punch. I kind of heard rage. Okay, so I really want to open it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, really? You gotta be kidding me. Critical hit dizzy punch. And we lost our Snorlax. How much damage does this take down? I'm gonna do a lot. We can get through this. So that's quad resisted. He's gonna heal. Said that I had enough tanky mons. Oh, no, that, that doesn't do us any good. I mean, if it would let me, I would try it. HP, we're gonna do that. Rage won't build anymore. I think he's probably only got. I think he doesn't have any more hyper potions. I think. This is my last super potion, but I do still have 20 hyper potions, so I'm okay on that front. We will see. This is the test. Okay, he doesn't have any more hyper potions. Good. We got it. We got it. Okay. Well, that was an ordeal. <sighs> well, shit. Those are probably my two favorite members on the team. Gone. Just like that. <sighs> Man. I really wanted to use Glyce Core too. But, if I'm being realistic, Glyce Core is not a good ground type. <laughs> He just isn't. He is. He learns no ground moves by level up. And when I say none, I mean none. Grudge. Okay, well, that's a move that we're not going to teach anyone. We are going to let Godfather here learn to fly. Get rid of that. We're not getting rid of wing attack because I would like to have a turn one attack. Also, Cody, you said I should get rid of Aggron. He single handedly got us through that gem battle. If we wouldn't have had him, we would have lost 100% because that Kangaskhan was scary. 
So we make our first two. Ooh, you have a Mystic Water. Ooh, he has Technician. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah, he might as well hold the berry juice. Why not? It's not hurting anybody. All right, so our first two members in the death box. Tum Tum, Snorlax, Toka the Gliscor. So now we've got to figure out what we want to do for our next two team members. Um, we could add Dawn Fan. Let me see here. Dawn Fan is in here somewhere. I don't know what moves or what level he learns. Moves out. If he learned. Type moves at a decent level, he wouldn't be a bad addition. Um, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Kadabra says psychic type mon available to us. Dawn fan, Dawn fan, where is Dawn fan? Magneton wouldn't be a bad choice. My choke would be in consideration because we kind of need a fighting type. What the hell is Dawn fan in this book? in this Pokedex, like the evolution mons, and which ones they didn't. There's like Mammoth Swine's in here, Tangrowth is in here. Oh, there's Dawn Fan. Okay. Dawn Fan does get magnitude by level up. Level 19. And he is level 5. Okay, so we got plenty of room to learn attacks. Yeah. And then he gets Earth forty six. Okay, so he wouldn't be too bad. He wouldn't be too bad. Um, I wish I could get a mammoth swine. That would be awesome. Um, what else do we have here? <sighs> Pulling Irwin out and adding Marsh Top wouldn't be. Or Tom Tom. Um. So let's see. Dawn Fan is an option. Meditite is an option. Marsh Top is in play. Raichu is probably in play. Um, our grass types are so bad. I mean, look at these. Those are our grass types. And execute. Magneton would be in play. And then, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Canabra, welcome to the team. I think it's just a level, a question of leveling him up. So we have four physical attackers, and one special attacker. We could use a grass type, but we don't have one, so that's out of the question. Okay, if I add... Is Magneton or... Um, I can actually get Magneton in this game. But I too already have Thunderbolt. Where are you at, right here? That's a terrible nature.
could be really bold and add the <laughs> add our shiny onyx. Um. Well, this is probably going to end up being the last thing we do in this episode. And we may be. Oh my gosh, Marshtop is adamant. I didn't know that. Let me change things up. When does. Marsh top. I know this isn't exactly a uh, engaging gameplay, but we've got to figure this out, and I'd rather y'all be here. Thought process uh, to six. Actually, and Marsh top gets it at forty six. I have no idea when. Um, when freaking Swamper gets it. Mud shot at sixteen. <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna go. Do we even really need Rapidash? We have a steel type and a flying type. That pretty much covers everything that Rapidash does. We may be rebuilding the team entirely. We're not taking that because of off. Okay, so let's see here. Let's what if we do that? That. Okay, let's move you over there. What if we did that and then make a choice between Raichu and Magneton. No, I don't think we're going to bring Marshtop out yet. I think I'd rather just puts, put you back. Magneton is a really good electric type. And let's see what level Magneton learns. Going back to the handy book. about Magneton is we can still get more moves on it. Okay, so it learns Discharge at 4. It does not line at all. Uh, that's kind of irritating. Actually, that's very irritating. Well, I think we to It also gives us a fighting weakness. And another... Oh, I mean, we're going to have a ground weakness anyway. It'd be another quad ground weakness. Maybe we just add Rapid Ash on there and call it good. I don't think so, though. I think we need the electric type. Okay, I think we're going to go with Magneton for now. Because this moveset that Raichu has, barring TMs, 
this is the move set that it's going to have. It doesn't learn anything else because it's a stone evolution. Granted, it does have Thunderbolt, which is basically all you need. I'm going to look up and see if see how we get Magnazone. Can I will use Mag because Magnazone is a whole and then we'll make a decision on Meditate. Meditate is better than Machoke, right? Yeah, Meditate is better than Machoke. And it's pure power. So I think we're going to go with that for now. Um, I'll do some research in between episodes. Um, and then we'll grind up to 30 on everything. So in the next episode you will see... Um, yeah, everything will be up to level 30 and we will have a whole for alligator. So that'll be fun. Um, and then after that we'll take on... Um, Actually, we'll probably go to. Ooh, we can get more encounters. You know, what? we can make this episode a little bit longer. Let's go do that. Having these mods in the party might be a bad idea. I think we can get more encounters if we go this way. Nope. Okay, well, I was mistaken. We can't get encounters there. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll clear out um, all the trainers on this route. Um, anything on the route to the north or up between Ecruteek and Olivine. Um, and we'll probably take on the trainers in Mount Mortar too, just to give us um, some levels. Because we're going to... Yeah, uh, please remember to leave... Leave a like for our fallen comrades, um, especially Snorlax. He's been here for a while. We hatched him from an egg. Um, it's very unfortunate that he. I like guys who are more than young dudes. Um, you can leave a leave a comment um, on who you think we should add to the team. Um, you know, I kind of saw there and you know, worked. By normal types, so it would be nice to have something to take it out. And that was my whole thought on Meditate. <laughs> um, you know, let me know if you think we should swap out Marsh Taunt for uh, for uh, for Crocodile. Now, knowing that Swampert is not going to get Earthquake until like probably level 50. Um, but yeah, so this is the team for now. Um, keeping in mind that Magneton may change for Raichu, depending on what it takes to get him. Kadabra's not coming off, though. And neither are um, Honchkrow or Agron. So Agron just saved our existence. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Casual Flagger saying bye-bye.